Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. I'm really sorry if I sound really out of it. I just got some really bad news um, last night about my uncle. Uh, for those that don't know, my dad was a big part of me getting into the enthusiast roller coaster community. He used to force me on rides when I didn't like them. Um, and he always had this vision and this dream of taking me and my sister to Disney World and uh, Busch Gardens, Tampa. And when he passed, he wasn't uh, able to do so. So my uncle actually was one of the people that stepped in and took us on that trip. So uh, yeah, it, it definitely hit hard. Uh, he's one of the last people on my dad's side of the family that I'm really close to. And uh, he was one of the people that really got me into the in, like roller coasters and theme parks after my dad's passing. So this one hit a little harder. Um, yeah, so if I'm a little slower on updates, uh, obviously uh, just going through some stuff, but uh, I wanted to get this out because I promised this one and it does have some information. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry again if I sound really out of it. Um, I really appreciate you all. And yeah, so let's get it started. Over at Moosehorn Falls, uh, they are working really hard to get this ride uh, built. If, you, if you're looking right now, uh, they have, um, what do you call it, a lot of the support columns up, the big ones, and it's going to do a turn and head back to the top of the tower. And on top of that, they got the slide pieces down there ready to go in. Um, they're working on building the pool walls. Uh, so that has been one of the slower processes for this water slide. Obviously, weather's been a factor, uh, but that's what we're waiting on as well. Here's that orange circle on top of Wonder Mountain. Uh, Wonderland has obviously covered it in a tarp and doesn't want it to be seen. Um, so I thought that was interesting. And if you look up there, uh, there's some rubble by an emergency exit staircase and an electrical cord that goes on into it. So I have a theory. Um, now, my prediction is the coaster is going to exit somewhere right around that area. Um, so kind of like the center just off to the left of Vortex. Um, almost if you were to picture it inside the mountain where uh, Tunnel 1 enters. And as soon as you get inside the mountain um, from Tunnel 1 and you're inside the mountain, that's kind of where the coaster is going to angle upwards and come out. Um, now, that is just a prediction, but that aligns with where, where that orange circle is in between Vortex, a uh, support column coming up and holding up that element. Uh, here is a pump, um, I think presumably from the water park that is being shipped out. So that's interesting. Uh, obviously, they're probably getting a new one, so this is probably an older one. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's a ride component. I believe that's either Whitewater or Water Park um, pump. So that's my guess there. thought that was interesting to see them offloading that. Obviously, it caught my attention at first. I was like, what's that red thing um, that they're moving? So I turned the drone over there. Um, all that concrete you see broken up there, by the way, just a reminder that came from inside the mountain. Um, I wanted to show you guys something. So this was at around 11 a.m. yesterday. So if you look, Timber Kits is there um, and they're measuring, you know, concrete's not poured, uh, no wood is up. Um, so that's about 10, 30, 11 a.m. And you can see they're getting ready to work. I want to show you guys something really funny because Timber Kits should be in charge of building the rides at Wonderland. Um, it's quite impressive how quickly they can uh, do their work. Um, but I just, you have to see this. It's the funniest thing ever because when I went back and flew at 5 p.m., um, you'll see. And I want to point something out. And it's not meant to be too shady because I know there's unions and I know there's contracts and I know there's all that. So, But the water, the people doing the concrete for the water slide and building the water slide, they go home at 4 or 5 p.m. every day no matter what. No matter how far behind they are on this project. I've noticed that they go home. They go home. Timber kits, when I flew at like 536, they were still there working. Um, so I just want to point that out. When you need a project done, I've always thought you stay longer when you're falling behind. I have not seen that from this team yet, uh, building Moosehorn Falls. But again, unions, contracts, I don't know the jazz. I don't know the gist of it. So obviously I could be missing some information. Um, that building I just showed, by the way, up in the left corner, um, that is going to be the pump house slash electrical room slash electrical storage room 
um, for Wonderland's future projects, obviously 2025, water park expansion, all that. So here's that Timber Kits building I was talking about. Um, look how quickly it went up. If I had to take a wild guess, that's going to be a bar. Um, Cedar Fair seems to be building bars at their parks and in their water parks, and I'm going to take a wild gander that that's going to be a bar in Splash Rigs. Um, here's the progress that they made on Moosehorn Falls. So the slide is well underway. You can see it's about to do a turn. Um, and they poured a lot of the concrete sidewalls for Moosehorn Falls. Um, and yeah, that's all I have today. Thank you so much for watching today's construction update. Um, oh, yes, the tea. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot the whole tea in this video. So one of the major teas was the demolition inside the mountain. It looks like they're dem demolishing um, a staircase. The second T is uh, I've been hearing rumblings uh, that Wonderland is about to start clearing. So we should start seeing in the drone three areas um, for track storage. Uh, so we'll start seeing um, track arriving in possibly the two to three week period, um, maybe four weeks. But uh, they, from what I'm hearing through the rumor mill, um, there's going to be some cleaning up in the park in some two distinct storage areas for track storage. Um, and they have about a two week period. So if I had to take a guess, track is going to be here anywhere between two to four weeks max. So sometime in June for sure. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye.